Welcome back to another Sweet Home 3D tutorial. In this video, uh, I'm going to be showing you something about document management, how to save your projects, how to export pictures, uh, and even video, uh, and how to share what you've created with other people, so other industry professionals or friends or family or whatever, or just save it so that you can work on it later. So to start, let's just draw something very simple. We'll select our wall tool. Or let's do our surface tool actually first, and we'll do a nice little floor here uh, like this. I have the escape key to close that off, and then we'll draw some walls around this on top of this as well. So I'm doing this kind of sloppy, not paying attention to whether it's inside or outside uh, of the surface. So now I have a nice little room down here. We can come down and look and see what it looks like. So as far as our project goes, if I want to save this project, let's say like, I got to run, do something real quick, and, and I want to work on this again tomorrow. To save this project and come back to it, we just go to, we can click this icon here. This is like the save icon. Or I can go to file and go to save. And if we do that, it brings up a dialog box, and we just uh, save the file. So it's actually not going to save a picture that we can send or email to someone. It saves a Sweet Home 3D file that will open up in Sweet Home 3D. So I'm going to save mine to my desktop, and I'll call it... Um, my house and it's going to get saved as a sweet home 3d document so we click save and then we can close out a sweet home 3d altogether and we see there's this file called my house and if you don't have sweet home 3d installed you're not going to be able to open this so if we if we try to print this or email it to someone it's just not going to work it's a project file for sweet home 3d so if we left click on it it'll open up in sweet home 3d let's say we it's the next day we pick this up right where we left off, and it has everything we drew. It has our walls, has all the everything that we put on here. So cool. But if we do want to send this to someone, let's say we want to send um, a 3D, this 3D model. We, we we like this angle that we've done. We're like, hey, this is the concept that we wanted to share with you. So if we want to send just this concept to someone, we come over here to this picture icon. It says create a photo from 3D view. So we click on this. And it brings up this dialog box. And it'll take the exact view we have here. And if we click Create, it'll create a picture that's 400 pixels by 147 pixels. That's like the size of it. That's not super, um, that's not super big. And then the quality is going to be kind of low. It's just a fast little quick drawing. So we'll just do that. We'll leave everything how it is right there. And then click Create. And it creates this picture here. And it's like, this is the view. Is this what you were thinking of? And I might be like, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Or I might tweak it, come here and tweak it a little bit and be like, actually, I was hoping we'd see a lot more of the floor. So I change to this view and then we go, all right, um, create. So now it creates more like that view there. And now I can say, awesome, let's go save. So I click save. I'll navigate to my desktop and I'll call it myhouse.png and hit save. And now if I close out of this and minimize, now I have my drawing my uh, Sweet Home 3D file, but I also have a picture, a, one specific picture. If we open this up and look at it, it's just this one specific picture view, and it's kind of small and grainy because we didn't do very good quality on it. But this is something we could email. This is a very compatible format. So the people aren't going to be able to look at it in 3D, but they'll be able to see just this one picture and like, oh, that's the shape you were talking about for your floor layout or whatever. So that's one way that we can share a part of our concept. If we want to do this though, if we want to share this 2D view of it, what we can do is we can go to file and we can go to, we can print, we can just go to file print and actually print it out on our printer. We select the, our printer here and hit OK and it'll print. Uh, I think it'll just print the 2D version. Let's see. Or what we can do is go to print to PDF. And we, when we do print to PDF, it'll just pretend like it's printing but it'll save it as a PDF document on our computer. So to do that, we'll just do it on the desktop, and this will be called myhouse.pdf. We hit save. And now what it does, if we minimize, we have this PDF document. So we can open it up and see what it looks like. Uh, oh, so I guess what print does, it actually prints both of them. It prints the 2D version and the 3D version. So now we see a 3D version of the model in the orientation that we put it in. And then it also shows a 2D version of our drawing without the, the grid and the hash marks and everything like that. So it shows this is north, and this is our drawing that we have. 
So this is a file we could share with someone. PDFs are very compatible, very common format. So we could actually email this file to someone and now they see everything. They see not only the 3D view, but they see uh, 2D, 3D, and they get an idea for like, okay, this is the, the size project you're doing. So that's an option. Um, what else, how else can we do this? I think we can, I think there's a way we can go. Is it page setup? So we can change the page setup here. Um, and this tells us what's gonna be printed. So by default, it's printing uh, the plan and it's just doing the best fit. But if, if for some reason we had multiple drawings out here, we might wanna print it to a certain scale. And we can type in a custom header and footer to be at the top and bottom of our thing, like our logo or our company name. But we'll, we'll play with that more uh, in, in later videos. We can put, you can put the date on, we can put uh, um, dot, yeah, page count. We can, we can add some different things to the document, which is pretty cool. So that's a little more advanced. We'll play with that later. I just wanted to show you a basic version for being able to share these. Uh, yeah, that's really all we're gonna do, I think, in this video. So apologize if that was boring or something maybe you already knew. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah, actually, I, one thing I will show you is how to create a video. So under this 3D view, um, we have this camera here, but we can also click right here that says create a 3D video. And what that's going to do is create down here in our 3D space, we can actually create a 3D video. We hit this record button, and when we hit that, um, we can actually move around here and see what this looks like as if we're just like walking. And you can use your, the control key on your, or the keys on your keyboard and walk around sort of like Wolfenstein or like a old school uh, first person shooter game and we can see what our thing looks like but we're just looking at a blank wall right now and when we're done we hit the we hit the record key again and it stops and then we just hit create and it makes a little video uh, that we of that what we were just doing so it's taking a second to make a video and this isn't going to be a very cool one I probably could have done a, a, a better example of this uh, but it just processes this video and then it'll, and then when it's done processing then we choose a place to save it just like we did our pictures So we grab we hit save and Save desktop and now it's called my house dot mov. We hit save Close minimize this now. We have another file So we have our my house picture our my house project our my house PDF and then we have our my house video We can click on this and it actually shows a video of this so this is kind of like boring and kind of like a low, low quality version of this video. But um, um, what, we, what we can actually see is the potential for doing this. Oops, it's coming here. <clears throat> and what it actually did, it just, uh, I, I thought it was recording real time, but what it was actually doing, I created a point. So it's like these, a camera, like start here and end here. So you have to play with that a little bit and get familiar with it, but just know that you can create a video and upload it to YouTube or email it to someone and they'll see a video representation of your model, which is awesome. So that's some different ways that we can, uh, that we can share our, our concepts and our drawings and our floor plans with other people. So I appreciate you watching this. Hopefully you found it informative. Go ahead and like and subscribe, comment below, and I'll catch you in the next video.